Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus news video And yes, I'm back. Uh, I was sick last week and I literally lost my voice for like three four days And now it's back and it's time to make a little video So let's go over the news because we got some really really cool news for Everything that came out yesterday because uh, if you guys don't know FFB basically dropped a video on their YouTube channel and we got the in-game news today and we got some lots of good stuff to cover So let's go with the story event for Folka priestess of the crystalline water uh, The new stages are gonna be added so you guys will be able to farm even more crisps and get a little bit of lapis So we're gonna go quickly into it Basically because we got a lot of things to talk about then Countdown to Lunar year free lapis daily summon so every day you guys will be able to go into the summon section right here and you will be able to summon for free lapis now the cool thing is you're you have a chance to win a thousand uh, ten thousand lapis but most of the time you'll probably win this 50 or the 100 lapis but you never know you might be lucky and get a lot of lapis and i wish for you guys ten thousand lapis to everybody the same day that would be insane but don't forget to do that basically it's free lapis and free lapis is always good since this is gonna come back so guys the star ocean banner is uh, literally coming back and we're getting something extra in that banner we're getting a new character but first let's go over the uh, login bonus on day one we're gonna get a four star guaranteed ex ticket then you're gonna get some uh jai reverse uh reverse raid coins because uh, we are gonna get a raid event you will get some star ocean uh anamnesis tickets so basically uh the way they explained it we're gonna have a special uh summon section where you're gonna be able to use the ticket and summon those uh star ocean banner banner character which is really 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 nice then on day five basically day three you get a ticket day four more coins day five two tickets day six more coins day seven tickets day eight coins day nine tickets Day 10, we get a 5 plus 1 summon ticket, which is really cool. And day 11, 100 lapis. Day 12 and 13, 100 lapis also. So that is really, really nice. They're getting up free stuff. And whenever get, they get free stuff like that, it's always, always cool. Then, this is what we're talking about. The Star Ocean, uh, the ticket summon. So you guys will get those special tickets and you'll be able to pull on that banner right here this is what it's going to look like so you guys i hope you get your units there and uh, if you're still missing a rena or uh, a fate or even the new character that we're going to talk about i hope you guys can get them there without having to spend too much lapis or too many tickets then indeed the raid is coming back so if you guys never fought the gyrovorce now you're going to be able to fight him one more time he's a machine uh, not that hard basically like any other raid just make sure you do a lot of damage and you're going to be good. And uh, you'll be able to get the Fierce Bolt. So attack 110, wind elemental, uh, two-handed and uh, enables auto regen. Then you're going to be able to make a Katana out of it. So dark elemental, attack 72. Scarlet Rose, attack and magic 60, earth element, which is not that bad also. And uh, you're going to be able to get some right, uh, right gear. The Take Mikasuchi which is really hard to say and the metal pipe so you guys will be able to craft some stuff but most of the time uh, for newer players these things are good but for older players sometimes you can skip on that and basically just go for the raid and in the raid like always you guys as you're summoning you're going to be able to summon for four star ex tickets some trust moogles and uh, all the good stuff like that so hopefully you guys can be really really lucky in there then we're going to go over the featured seven which is right here uh, so we got the new character Sophia, which is a new five star going to seven star and yes Rena and fate got their seven stars So after maintenance you guys uh, if you have already two of them, you're gonna be able to make them seven star So let's go over the stuff right here. Whoa, that went fast. That went fast uh, Let's go over the stuff right here So the step up summon there's gonna be two step up summons basically the first one uh, You will be able to get whether Rena or uh, Sophia and on the second one is gonna be Faith or Sophia. So 20,000 lapis, basically you're guaranteed a four star unit on the first one is uh, 1500 lapis and it's a three plus one. Then step two, they had to go cheap with the seven plus one. Seven plus one, 3,500 lapis and you're gonna be guaranteed a four star or higher. Then on step three, uh, 
1.5 times rate up for whether Rena or Sophia and it's the same thing for Fate guys so basically it doesn't change the only thing that changes is the character on the banner uh, so you guys uh, will get a 1.5 times rate up and a 5% Moogle then on step 4 for 5000 Lapis you get another 10 plus 1 with 2 times rate up and a 10% Moogle and on the 5th step you're going to be guaranteed whether Rena or Sophia or on the second banner you will get uh, Fate or Sophia which is really really cool 20,000 lap is not that much so let's say you guys are missing one of these units well it's pretty good to maybe get one but other than that let's go over their stuff right here so Sophia she's a crazy mage and the way they were explaining in the YouTube video uh, from uh, FFB they were saying she was a big fire damage dealer and she was able to triple cast some of her abilities. So let's go over her super trust master right here. It's an accessory. Sophia's airpin, magic and 60, uh, magic and spirit plus 60 on raw stats, boost fire resistance by 30%, enable symbologist bond Sophia only, boost magic by 50% and MP by 20%, which is really, really nice and really, really strong. Then a regular trust master, the crescent rod. Attack 28, Magic 135, enables connection symbol, Sophia only once again, restores MP every turn and boosts chance of countering. Really, really nice. Then her featured abilities, we're gonna go over this one right here. Southern Cross, uh, basically has a 7 star at once. Uh, you can use it every 4 turns, reduce fire and dark resistance and deal fire and dark magic damage to all enemies. Really, really nice. I wonder how strong the break is, probably like... So maybe like 75% but I wouldn't be surprised if they make it 100% which would be insane then she's gonna get deep freeze deal ice magic damage and chance of stopping all enemies and fireball deal fire magic damage and gradually damages all enemies every turn for three turns really really cool I like these moves and uh, I can't wait to see the data mine on that character and uh, see all her moves then Rena will get her seven star we're just gonna go over her super trust master right here so uh, the shortcake, it's going to be an accessory. Spirit 54, Spirit plus 10%, enables, well fed, restore MP and LB gauge every turn and nullify poison, blind, sleep, silent, paralysis, confusion, disease, and stone. Really, really good. Uh, if you guys have plenty of her, go for it because that's a really, really good TMR. And if you're going to be pulling on that step up banner, well, I hope you guys get these extra characters to maybe get their super TMR. Then we're gonna go over just this mother's protection or featured abilities, uh, featured ability that she gets a seven star. Uh, once every six turn, automatically revive one time and boost defense and spirit for three turns to all allies. So basically, AOE re raise on the whole party. Uh, you can use that every six turn, and that thing is really, really strong because there's not that many units in the game that can do that. Uh, obviously, we got uh, Fina, Lotus Mage Fina, with her, um, her limit burst, but being able to use that right away that's really really nice then we're gonna go over fate is super trust master fate's close uh, attack 38 defense and spirit plus 20 enables fate's close fill lb gauge every turn and boost attack when equipped with a sword probably something around like 50 percent right here and uh yeah that thing is really really good especially if you equip it on a guy like fate or any other character that can take some close then his featured ability as a seven star you can use that move every four turns damage all the enemies and boost damage of certain abilities so once again we're gonna have to wait for the data mine to make sure that we know everything all the stats and all the good stuff also uh since we don't have this here because they didn't spoke about it uh do they well no they just talk about this one so basically in their uh, youtube channel as I'm gonna keep this beautiful stars seven star awakening here on the side. Uh, on in January, we're supposed to get units that's gonna be awakened to seven star, and I have a list right here. Supposed to be atoning dragoon cane, pure summoner radia, Lilla, which uh, if you guys have plenty of Lilla like myself, you're gonna be able to get her as a seven star. Emperor Shira, Jiraiya, Nameless Gunner Jake, CG Nicole, which is the best buffer you guys can get, CG Lid. Also CG Reagan, so if you guys want to bring those Reagans out, go for it. And Mediana, so these characters are going to be able to get their 7 star awakening. Uh, basically they said in January, so hopefully we're going to be able to awaken these characters after uh, maintenance on Thursday. Also, they spoke about some ability awakening updates. So basically it's going to be Varun, uh, Mew, Mew Cookie, I think. There's going to be the characters from uh, the... Um, 
the Chinese New Year, so it's gonna be Chao, Yang, sorry, Yang, and uh, I think it's Yung, the girl with the umbrella. Then it's gonna be Cloud, Elfrida, so you guys can, uh, we're gonna be able to see those uh, awakening abilities maybe this week after maintenance on Thursday. And I gotta say, I can't wait to see Yang, because already Yang as a true double hand was probably the highest damage dealer in the game. Maybe not now, but before he was, and I want to see what they're going to do with his abilities as they awaken him. And also Chow, hopefully that little cute dog will get his 7 star awakening in the future. Maybe in the next couple of weeks, and also I want to see the ability awakening on this guy, because he's one amazing magic cover tank. And there's going to be one more thing that I didn't put in game right here. There's going to be a new chamber of arms boss, I have the things right here. His name is Sadal. Uh, Sadal Suits. So basically, he's gonna be a big boss. Uh, you're gonna be able to get the Genji armor, which is a uh, big armor, not a small armor. It's heavy armor. Uh, attack 20, defense 45, and nullify blinds. Death resistance by 50%, and enables Genji Spirit. And I think Genji Spirit, when they were talking about it, it was something like. Uh, actually, I, I should check on it. I should check on it. I can't remember. I don't want to start the video right now as I'm recording because it's going to sound really, really weird. But uh, yeah, you guys can... Uh, we're supposed to get this. I don't know if we're going to get this week or maybe next week after maintenance. But keep, keep in mind that there's going to be a new Chamber of Arms boss. Guys, on that note, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like on this video. Click the little bell if you want to get noticed for when I drop a video. And also subscribe for more content and guys it's good to be back it's good to be back and it's good to have my voice back on that note have a wonderful day and i'm out peace